Not so long ago, we've discussed how various galaxies evolve from one to another, how certain types of spiral galaxies with time can turn into lenticular galaxies, or how certain types of elliptical galaxies evolve as well. Mostly because it's still not entirely clear how a lot of these galaxies do form and how they change from one to another. But when it comes to typical galactic shapes, for the most part, their evolution does not really have any particular mysteries. Here things more or less make sense. Yet there are some types of galaxies, like the mysterious ring galaxies, that even today we have trouble explaining. How exactly did something like this form in the universe? Now approximately one year ago, we've discussed some of the new discoveries and more unusual discoveries when it comes to these mysterious ring galaxies. That video should be in the description. But the thing is, this is just one type of a galaxy we don't understand. And relatively recently, I guess just a few days ago from when I'm making this video, a team of scientists discovered something else nobody expected. Another type of a ring galaxy that nobody expected and nobody knew existed until basically now. A galaxy everyone thought was actually spiral, similar to the Milky Way, but turned out to be what's known as a polar ring galaxy. A mysterious type of galaxies that at the moment is very difficult to explain, that often contains a galactic shape such as the elliptical or lenticular galaxy surrounded by the ring, which unlike in these galaxies, is basically perpendicular, 90 degrees to the rest of the galaxy. And unlike other galactic shapes, at the moment it's extremely difficult to explain how exactly they form and what exactly is happening here. But there are some propositions and we're going to discuss some of them today. And so, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Today we're going to be discussing some of the recent discoveries in regards to potentially either new types of galaxies or a new subtype of polar ring galaxies that were just discovered completely by accident by looking at them in different light. And so let's discuss some of these galaxies in more detail, but I guess let's start with what exactly we know about this. Although first, don't confuse ring galaxies such as the famous Hoggs object, many of which have been discovered previously as well, with the slightly different polar ring galaxies, which seem to be much more common and potentially represent a subtype of common galaxies whose formation is just unknown to us. And when it comes to these types of galaxies, at least 400 are known to us, but only a handful so far has been definitively confirmed. And what makes these types of galaxies a little bit different is the fact that in the center there is a typical disk galaxy, although usually it's what's known as the lenticular galaxy that does not have galactic arms, but it just so happens to have an unusual ring in orbit around it. And not so long ago, yet another one of these galaxies was discovered by the Indian scientists with the image that you see right here. Now here it seems to be an elliptical galaxy in the middle, so they do seem to have at least two different types. But here you can definitely see the polar ring with the 80 degree inclination suggesting two separate components. Although in this case this is pretty far away at least 1.8 billion light years away from planet Earth. So it's actually difficult to see any kind of details. Although in this case, like in so many other similar galaxies, the ring is at least three times as big as the main galaxy and also seems to contain much bluer stars, suggesting a lot of star formation. And this is something we usually observe in many ring galaxies as well. And so in this case, this galaxy known as DJ0240 is yet another confirmed polar ring galaxy detected through visual observations. You can find more about this galaxy from the study in the description below. And based on optical observations, today it's believed that approximately 0.5% of all lenticular galaxies for some reason will be polar ring galaxies as well. Which of course raises the question, why and also how do they form? And obviously one of the explanations involves some kind of a galactic collision or potentially a passage of another galaxy from which the larger galaxy strips a lot of mass and a lot of stars and forms a sort of a ring shape around it. Now this is kind of difficult to prove right now because we don't actually see any partner galaxies nearby, but galactic interaction is essentially one of the main explanations. But a much more intriguing and somewhat more unusual explanation involves the idea of the cosmic web. The mysterious filament that seems to be pretty much everywhere in the universe that serves as a kind of a tunnel, or I guess a kind of a, almost like a vein system, through which a lot of gas travels across the universe and that serves as the foundation for a lot of galaxies as well. 
Now we've discussed this previously, and there is actually quite a lot of proof that this exists, including actual pictures, some which should be in the description, but in a nutshell, one of the explanations suggests that as the gas travels across the cosmic web, if certain galaxies are positioned in a certain way, this gas can then start forming unusual ring-like shapes around these galaxies, orbiting around them in a process. Which by the way would also explain the ring galaxies and a lot of other similar formations across the entire universe. But if this idea is correct and if it's actually all because of cosmic web, it's not clear why only lenticular and only some elliptical galaxies seem to form these rings. Why not galaxies like the Milky Way which are spiral and have arms? Or basically, why don't we see similar rings around other galactic shapes? And well, it turns out, maybe we were just looking for the wrong thing. Or just to rephrase this, maybe we were using wrong telescopes. Because a lot more formations become visible once you observe things in things like radio light. As a matter of fact, the iconic Centaurus A galaxy is an excellent example of what you can actually see if you look at the galaxy in radio light. To some extent, it even resembles polar ring galaxies. It looks extremely different in the optical light visible to our eyes. And so, completely by accident, scientists using the Australian ASCAP, a radio telescope network, conducted a large radio survey known as Wallaby, with the main goal being looking at hundreds of thousands of galaxies in order to basically map their distribution and possibly find some mysteries in the process. And following the analysis of the first 600 galaxies, they've discovered two that were very unusual. NGC 6156, which does look pretty normal at first, and NGC 4632. Both of them are known as spiral galaxies, but turns out that both of them were hiding a polar ring, and only visible in radio light. In other words, these rings do not seem to contain active stars, or really any stars, visible in optical light. They only seem to contain gas, but once again in a very similar polar pattern. And so, unlike a typical polar ring, which does usually contain stars, these ones didn't. But also making these the first ever spiral arm galaxies discovered to contain these polar rings. Previous galaxies, as I mentioned, were either lenticular or elliptical. And so here right now, this is once again a potentially new mystery, but might also lead us to a solution of how these galaxies form and if there's any relationship between them. For example, maybe this is just an evolution of one type of galaxy into another, or maybe this is indeed a result of an interaction with the cosmic web. It's just some galaxies start forming stars, others just form a gas-like ring. And because the closest galaxy in this case is about 56 million light years away from us, and because two were found out of 600, it essentially implies that there's probably an entire population of these hidden galaxies we did not know existed. Implying, of course, that this is probably a relatively common type of galaxies, with maybe up to 3% of all lenticular and spiral galaxies containing these unusual rings. And so even though it was believed that these are rare galaxies, turns out that maybe they're not. Maybe they're not rare, they were just not visible to us before. But since this investigation only looked at 600 galaxies out of nearly 200,000 that it's going to be assessing, it means we're going to be discovering hundreds of them in the next few years. Potentially, once again, revising our understanding of galactic evolution. Which, by the way, has already been recently revised by another study you can find in the description. With the other study also challenging our understanding of how typical galaxies evolve and how they turn from one to another. Or how they influence each other to change their shapes. But at least for now, it's believed that maybe the formation mechanism for a lot of these galaxies is somewhat different from the original belief involving a typical galactic collision. So maybe it's not galactic collisions, maybe it's something entirely different. Maybe cosmic web, maybe something else. We'll probably learn more in the next few years. And so until then, check out some of the previous videos in the description, subscribe, maybe share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.